Hey Coastal, welcome to the Theology of Music video series. Make sure you like and subscribe, hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all that we're posting, and share this video on Facebook so you and your friends can continue to learn more about the songs that we sing and the theology within them. Welcome. You're back. I'm here. Here we go. This week we're going to take a look at the song, Mighty to Save, and I know what you're thinking. What is it about you guys, a Coastal and Old Hill song? Well, Old Hill song is the best Hill song. This song is a great, great reminder of the compassion and love that we have from the Lord and that He is truly mighty to save. I'm going to take a look at the first verse that says this, Everyone needs compassion, love that's never failing, let mercy fall on me. Everyone needs forgiveness, the kindness of a Savior, the hope of nations. The theme of this song was actually taken from Zephaniah 3.17. And yes, that is a book of the Bible. Yahweh your God is among you, a warrior who saves. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will bring quietness with his love. He will delight in you with shouts of joy. I know we spend a lot of time looking at God and just how big and how holy and how majestic and awesome and there should be fear and there should be reverence and man, he's just huge and I can't even comprehend him. We just talked about the the God-man of Christ, and it's all these things. I just don't even feel like I can grasp it. And yet, God delights in us. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will bring you quietness with his love. He will delight in you with shouts of joy. Everyone needs compassion. Even the secular culture knows they need compassion. Everyone's hurting for love. Look around you. Look at social media. We are desperate. We're hurting. We're physically hurting for love at times. Just like my status. Just like my picture. Just show me that you like me and you want to be around me. And or, or Oh, they're hanging out again. I want to hang out with them. I never get invited. They always have their little group. They're, they're best friends. I just want to be with them. Oh, that person, man, everyone loves that person. Why don't people want to hang out with me like they want to hang out with that person? Why don't people want to talk to me like they want to talk to that person? That person's super smart or super cool or super good looking or and all these things. And everyone wants to be with them. God, I just, I want my spouse to love me. They said I do. They said till death do us part. And yet I can't buy an ounce of compassion and affection from them, God. God, my kids have disowned me. They're turning to their friends, to this world, to boyfriends or girlfriends. I feel like I'm doing all that I can to keep them in you and yet they're just running away. God, what have I done as a parent? I felt like I've done it right, but I feel like I've pushed away my kids. Now they resent me. Everyone needs compassion, but it's the kindness of a savior. All the compassion, all the affection, all the love and adoration, that those friends that you wish could give you, that your spouse that you wish could give you, that those likes and those shares on Facebook and social media could give you, all of that pales in comparison to the love that God gives you and that he gave you in Christ. He delights in you. Instead of us being despondent and depressed because we don't get the world's love, we should be ecstatic because all the love we could ever need is freely given to us through his son's death on the cross and every single day through blessing upon blessing upon blessing. Everyone needs forgiveness. Are you holding on to bitterness, church? Will you not forgive? Is there someone in your life who you continue to view through the lens of your anger, your past hurt, your past shame. Everyone needs forgiveness, the kindness of a savior. Christ's love will never fail us. And you need forgiveness. Christ did that. He saved you and forgave you on the cross. And in the midst of turmoil and persecution and mockery, Christ said, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. He saved you. He forgave you. It's done. And the last part, Everyone needs forgiveness, the kindness of a Savior, his death on the cross. It's the hope of nations. The hope of nations is not a different president. The hope of nations is not policy reform. The hope of nations isn't a smaller military or a bigger military, a smaller government or a bigger government. The hope of nations is Jesus Christ. That's it, hands down. Because 
everyone needs compassion because everyone needs forgiveness and no president and no government are ever going to provide compassion or forgiveness completely like Christ does. That is the God you worship. He is mighty to save. Yahweh your God is among you, a warrior who saves. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will bring you quietness. That's peace, church. He will delight in you with shouts of joy. Your God is your Savior. He is mighty to save. So, church, turn away from the world. It's got nothing to offer you. Turn to the Lord. Turn to Yahweh. Turn to the God who is mighty to save. God bless you guys. See you Sunday.